Hello, welcome back to Average Gamer Plays Factorio. Today uh, we're going to make a start, I think, on setting up a solar panel farm. So what I need to do first is, yeah, we had a look at the map and I'm going to start building it over in this area and I'm currently just over here. So we'll build um, we'll copy that. No, we won't. Um, we'll copy the rails. We'll make sure that doesn't sort of overlap with that up there. Now we're going to need some signals along here, so we'll have uh, chain signal there, chain signal there. <clears throat> we might need to add a few more of these along the way, so we'll have the main signal there, why not? Uh, we'll have a railway station. with signal after it. Now this is just going to be the train pointing in the right direction and one wagon. And we're going to have um, yeah, we'll just have two inserters with two requester chests uh, a little bit of power. Doesn't quite stretch, does it? So we'll have to have a bit of power there, a bit of power there. Um, that goes through there, that goes into there. Okay. We'll have power there and power there. Right, so that is going to request. Uh, in fact, we'll set this, uh, we'll filter this for double click, or middle click rather. Copy, 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 paste, 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 paste. Now we'll do it about 50-50. I think it, it, it's not quite a 50-50 ratio, but... This will do. Okay. So we'll have that requesting solar panels. And that one requesting accumulators. And we should start having some bots coming to bring us the stuff over. There you go. Okay. So, we'll leave that loading up there for a minute. Uh, we'll just make sure we're signalling... Um, At the bottom there so yeah no trains can sort of come in here because yeah the trains can come in from there but they then stop over at this point and wait for which is not a problem because there's only going to be one train on each of these lines and they're, they're currently in the stations so uh, what we'll do, let's actually start sort of low down here somewhere. We'll have this in the middle of the two. Um, rails uh, interstation. Uh, no, we won't have an interstation. We'll just have um, a um, T-junction. A 
I will line that up with um, actually no I'll put it up here because I don't want it to get in the way of anything else Have a little spur line coming out here. We'll just pop that down there. That down there. We'll just put a um, a loop on the end of it. Now the train is just going to come along. Is it going to go? Okay. Let me just work out which line the train is going to be on. So uh, the uh, signal is on the right hand side, so it's actually going to come down here and come. Back along here, that's right. So this is going to be solar drop off. That shall I just do? Um, yeah, let's have a solar panel and an accumulator along there. And that will be fine. I don't think we need any more signals along that. So this is going to be um, Now then, at the drop-off station, that is getting nicely sort of filled up with things. So at the drop-off station, we need to have. unload into provider chests we have one robo port there which we will fill up with construction robots I'll keep a few for myself and let's go for um, Did I have... yes. I like using this layout for the solar array. Now I need to have... I, mm, I need to tweak the uh, uh, the setting for the... Ooh. Right, so let's see how far away this can go. Um, let's start putting that... Just for the sake of randomness, we'll put that... I need to tweak this blueprint to tile it properly. This was all designed 
back on an older version of the game. Uh, that one is just in the way of the rail loop. That's a little bit annoying, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it. So I need to put uh, robo ports and um, substations onto uh, tell you what we'll have. We'll have another we'll have another carriage, another wagon on the train for So let me um, change that one to uh, Robo Ports and I'll change that one to Substations. And that, in fact, we can have. That one requesting everything. Um, and then we'll have another wagon on here with an unloader into the purple. So when I'm over at this end, does the thing not show space for all the wagons? I don't understand. Is it because there's a signal? Yes, it's because there was a signal in the way there. Right. So that is going to be um, to load up and to load into there. Right, that needed space for all the stone and the trees and the bits that it's digging up. Right, let's change... Uh, let's get rid of this loop here because it's getting in the way of... We'll just do a differently styled loop. Uh, we'll just have that come round. Come on, right. It's getting in the way because of the trees. Let's just get rid of some of the trees for the time being. Um, so that's looking better looking different. But at least it does mean that I can now... Um, right, let's take that off there and just put it over there because I'm going to be using that a lot. just run um, well we'll get some of these starting to be built and then we'll see um, we'll just link it into the main power system so 
So let's do at pick up until full and then at drop off until empty. But we'll also have um, uh, 60 seconds. So this is just going to sort of keep going forwards and backwards. Um, and then let's just follow that and see if it actually works. I should have got on it really, shouldn't I? Well, that's interesting. It's got to go all the way down there. come all the way back up again so I will build um, put a loop on there Right, where's this train? It's still coming back up. Right, so that, um, let's take that into manual mode for a minute. Needed a bit of power. And so I'll probably just make those. Um, they don't need to be provided a chest, do they? They can just be. Some more. Mind you, there will be lots of robo ports in there for them to charge up at. I don't think I need to. Um, but they're not connected to the power grid at the moment. So let's do. That power pole there. Let's have a look on the map at the, turn that off, sort of look at the electrical power grid. So that is sort of not connected to any of this at the moment. Right, so we need another, uh, a long power pole. Let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, let's, doesn't matter where it goes really, as long as that connects to, um, so that's connected that to that. So all these are now connected to the main grid. So if we have a look at the power, we can see that we're getting 24.2 megawatts from the solar panels and nothing from the accumulators because they're still charging up. Put that back into automatic mode. Why is that full of... Where did that come from?
Right, so... Right, we don't have an empty cargo inventory, so we'll have to add a... Um, all five seconds of inactivity here. So, where did that get... Let's just double check on the map. Right, so that is still going all the way down there, isn't it? So why why did that not go? Have I got these the wrong way round? Maybe because I wasn't expecting the train to come back from... So that train... come down there. Why did it not go down this bit of track here? I understand that. Down there, down there, and it went straight down. I put the, that's why I put the wrong bloody station on the thing. That's why it's getting all that iron ore from. Delete that. Add station. <sighs> right now this should come down here go straight into there as expected right now let's tidy up all this iron ore that it's picked up that it shouldn't have done um stick that into manual mode for a minute right let's not put all that iron ore into storage let's put it into um Let's have a uh, a request a chest down here for iron ore, and then we will empty it out. Uh, actually, no. Let's have 
could request a chest a little bit lower down. Uh, well, on to... Okay, so that should feed all that iron ore back into the system, basically. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have... Um, again, another request to chest over here. Leading out to another... the belt with another splitter and then that is going to be inputting from the right and that is going to be requesting iron plates and there they all come so if we have a look at logistics storage we've got 2400 iron plates in storage and then that should uh, filter them back out um, all those in there. Let's request a thousand. Similarly, over here, we'll have a request for coal. And um, again, all of it. So now I might move this coal request to go down here actually. the coal request uh, over there. I need another robo port over here. Move that up. Move that up. Go it that way. Um, Have a look. So a lot of that, uh, yeah, it's got 1,600 iron ore, so that will get uh, filtered out soon enough. Right, uh, pick up is either going to be, oh that's still on manual mode right so automatic
that's going to start waiting for 60 seconds so yeah <clears throat> Now then, why are those not going into there? Is that because all the bots were busy doing something else? Um, no, that is now full. Why is that not loading? Hang on a minute. Put that into manual mode. Do I actually need to have a separate one for each of these? It might have been, yes, it might be. Right, so solar panels, uh, accum accumulators, take the accumulators off that one. And those, and then we'll have that one being uh, RoboPods. It might be that it stopped because um, the um, the arm was full, the inserter already. Actually, I can still have those just being blue ones. Let's put that back onto automatic. So there's only a couple in there, a couple in there. Should be emptying out all the iron. I need to do, let them do something with the um, the stone. Um, goes. Let's just follow it. So that should just come, right, that does actually now go straight up. It's because I didn't need to put that loop in there at all, because the only reason it was going down that way is because I set it to go to the wrong station. So I'll take that loop out. Now the way this design works is that because there is a robo port in the middle of each one, it doesn't matter how far away the uh, the design is from the, the the blueprint is from the station because the bots will always be able to fly uh, fly there and recharge. And once it's all built, I can take the robo ports out. Um, they won't be needed once it's all completed. That's still emptying out those. So we can take that and just sort of blueprint it all the way up there as well. We have to make sure that we get it in the right place. And we can just put down lots and lots of blueprints and see how far we get.
So yeah, I can take this out. This was unnecessary. goes off again to deliver some more stuff and pick up any trees and stone and whatever else that it's uh, had to chop down that the robots have had to uh, chop down So again, it'll take time for all this to build up and start becoming useful um, long term anyway, because um, yeah, it'll just take time to, uh, to put down a decent amount of solar panels, but that'll just sort of keep chugging away in the background. I just need to keep remembering to um, put down more um, blueprints okay how are we doing um, right it looks like the module factory over there has finished making all the modules that it needs over there so any modules that it produces now we should really start bringing back into the uh, main factory and then I can start sort of upgrading um, smelting lines or even thinking about um, yeah expanding the factory getting the rocket launched So we've now got ooh, lots and lots in there and quite a lot in there as well now um, right we're producing lots there because we're getting more red circuits going down that way than the other way so we need to we need to find a way of making sure that is kind of evenly matched really um, although if I do that that should then stop because the output is full 250 that's 500 yeah because what I usually do is uh, right where's my train line going to there So we'll have another um, another little spur. Can I just make that? No, that'll be yeah. That'll work. though let's just do something that is probably the um Do 
Do something like that. I like that noise. Need to put some signals on that. might not be necessary because uh, I'm not really using the building train down here anymore. Now again we'll have uh, train station there stations have to be on the inside right um, we'll have a locomotive we'll have cargo wagon and again similar to what we did before was we'll set the filter on that to be speed modules and we'll set the filter on that to be productivity modules And we will um, come out quite slowly, don't they? So we'll have a request a chest here for speed, and a request a chest there for productivity. Uh, we'll have a robo port. Over there, we need to run some power. Really got any fuel here, have we? Um, well, I've got a little bit. We'll have to have that one being fueled up at, um, at the main base. So. And then we'll have this being um, speed three, rod three, pick up. This is going to be um, until now then.
Right, so that waits until we've got either 250 speed or 250 um, productivity in there. Now that RoboPort needs to be connected to the, uh, the other one. Uh, that down over there. So now... Do we have some bots coming into action? Yes, we do. Basically, so now we don't need so many robo ports around here now. So we've still got um, a big um, robo port network. And all we really need now is just this little bit down here. So I can take out a lot of these other robo ports because they are surplus to requirements and I've got too many construction bots. thing is once that gets down a little bit this is going to start kicking into action it's going to start making um, let's turn off the priority filter on that so it should get uh, sort of 50 50 to each one Cut it out, I'll run slowly when you turn your legs off. And it's little things like this, the sort of the tweaks that you have to do to ensure that everything still runs smoothly and has all the uh, required ingredients. Um, my legs back on, I can't stand running that slowly. Um, so yeah, we could have... Make sure that everything we're producing 
is getting used now. These aren't getting any copper. Because we're filtering all the copper down here. And yeah. So it might be that we need to have um, yet another uh, line for copper. Even then, I might need to set up a second mine because this stuff isn't coming out of here fast enough. So yeah, ideally we want full lines of that coming in. So we've got another copper patch uh, there which I'll have to um, feed in from as well. So now we're feeding yeah, let's just empty all that out of there. I'll set the um, building train to come back here one more time. I might be shooting myself in the foot a little bit by taking all these up, but we shall see. manually tell it to come over here. Why is it not moving? Destination full. Ah. Still one or two more I can get rid of up there, but that's fine. So when the train gets here, it'll load up. I'll just hop on it and get back to the base. Right, I need to do something to work out what to do with this wood. Now, I initially had something set up where it was um, feeding into um, the smelting for the copper, but then it used it all up and then the, the the copper 
smelting kind of run out. So one idea that I've heard is basically um, to set up a little brick smelting area. Um, let's do something here. So we've got a little smelter there. And we'll have a request a chest for. I haven't got any more request a chest. Let's make a couple. Uh, where are they? I haven't got any electronic circuits, right? Right, let's make a couple of request a chests. then we'll have that one requesting stone um, this one requesting wood and then we'll also have a little spur There for a bit of stone. And then the output can just go into a um Yeah, let's just stick that into a provider chest there. So while we've got um wood and while we've got a bit of stone uh, and again let's let's just turn that off a little bit and let's have um, similar to what we just had down there um, so that is going to request stone there and then that is going to feed in from the left so any stone that comes into there will go onto the line and anything that it still needs. So that'll keep going as long as it's got, let's do that to be a thousand. So as long as we've got wood uh, in storage, that'll get burnt up and just make some extra bricks. And then I'll just end up paving the whole area with bricks, I think, just to use them all up. Right, so what I need to do still is to build um, a pickup station here for the modules and then I can turn off this little module factory here because we'll be getting plenty coming in from up above. Yeah, turn that off, that'll be fine. And then, um, yeah, I can start looking at... Uh, where I want to go next. Uh, probably uh, launch some rockets, get some space science on the go, get the uh, get a little bit of research still going. Yeah, we'll do that next. And with all that said and done, for now I'll say, see you next time.